think uh, half avocado holds promise for Ugandan farmers seeking long-term investment. Uh, the question is uh, poor uh, practices that lead uh, to making it very difficult uh, for farmers to get the kind of money that they are looking for and also to supervise by the National Agriculture Advisory Services. Now Helen Mugerwa is a farmer whose story you must watch. Uganda, having an agrarian economy, presents so many opportunities for its citizens to make generational wealth through commercial agriculture. A viable approach to achieve the growth of Haas avocado, a generational crop, lasting for about 50 years and accounting for 80% of global avocado demand today. Helen Mugera, a farmer resident in Seta and part of the Outgrower Network and a Musubi farm, had earlier attempted growing Haas avocado, but failed due to some knowledge gaps in the best practices to raise the crop. So I kept on reading supplements on avocado and how we have been encouraged to grow it. And even the market, I'm told the market is very marketable. So I gave it a try. I gave it a try, but because of the excitement, like I think anybody would, I went ahead uh, and bought the seedlings from Okono, transported them all the way to Busia district, they reached safely. Straight away took them to the garden, uh, put some manure, everything I planted. So what, what, what happens? I go back to Kampala. So I kept on monitoring on phone, kept on calling them, how are the trees going on? I left my old mother to look after this, that, that trees. But because I thought they were just like any other tree where you dump them and they grow on their own. But I was very disappointed because each time I called, they told me so many had dried up, so many had tried dried up. And I was rather disappointed, though I still had hope that they would maybe come up alive. So with the time, I saw that all the seedlings were dwindling. There was very few left. Eventually, I was told there's nothing completely in the garden. When she heard of the government's promotion of the growth of Haas avocado through NADS, she knew this was her time to make things right. I got the courage because I didn't stop going to the shows to find out. I wanted to know how I can make my money, the money, kind of money I can leave for my children and grandchildren. But I was still interested in, the, in these trees. So what I did, I said, no, I'll give it a try. I'll give it a try. So this time around, I tried to gather information here and there. Uh, that's when I bumped into some nice lady at the show. That was uh, the last show which was held at Kololo Air Street. She's the one who told me, by the way, nuts can give you these seedlings. Even on a small acreage, Haas Avocado has the potential to be a stable source of income for a household if the best practices are carefully followed. Joshua Kaindi, the manager at Njojo Agro-Based Industries, one of the biggest Haas avocado farms in Uganda, attests to the same. Um, for one acre, uh, using a spacing of by five by five meters, one acre can accommodate comfortably 160 plants. And uh, Haas avocado, it's, it produces heavily when taken care of. Uh, for instance, I will give an example of Georgia. For us, our garden is two years, five months. We have already done the first harvesting, whereby each tree was giving us five kgs. And uh, that is the first harvest. So with time, first harvest, you get that. Second harvest, it doubles. So by the time it reaches five years, we say the tree has attained maturity. The tree, when it is five years old, it can give you between 1,000 to 1,500 fruits. So let's take the bare minimum of 1,000. And uh, each fruit is weighing on average of 200 to 250. So there you love 200 kgs from every single tree. So the 200 kgs, uh, you multiply by 160. 
each kg is going for uh, 2,000 to 3,000 Ugandan shillings. About 64. You have two seasons. So in one season, 32 million. In the other season, 32 million. In the face of such promise, for farmers like Helen and many others all over the country, participation in the Haas Avocado value chain is a step towards an economic future secured.